Uh, first and foremost, I would like to use this opportunity on behalf of myself, Engineer A. Esule, and the Engineer A. Esule Campaign Committee, you know, to thank the Almighty Allah for giving us the good health and the opportunity to witness the primaries of the APC for governorship election that we had. I would like to use the opportunity to thank the structures of the party, both at the national and at the state level, for all the work that they have done, as well as the officials who were sent to come and conduct this election for the wonderful opportunity they have given to every one of the aspirants to listen to us, to answer what we have said, and to do everything possible. Mm -hmm. I would like to also use the opportunity to thank the governor uh, and then his government, uh, Tanko and Makura, for the wonderful structures and the atmosphere that was provided for us to have such a free and fair election that every one of the aspirants accepted wholeheartedly where we even had a joint press conference. I would like to use the opportunity also to thank the delegates even those who didn't vote for me, as well as those who voted for me, because the nature of the way the election was carried out, it was difficult to tell who voted for you and who did not vote for you. So as far as I'm concerned, all the delegates voted for me. Therefore, I would like to consider every one of them as one, so that we are now one big family of the APC, so we can work together. And that is the main reason why, you know, when it was time for us to actually say we are given a token of because of the way that people spend the night here. We give a token of a little amount of money for people you actually to use as means of transportation to go back to their various locations. We didn't count, we considered it. We gave it to every uh, delegate. The reason why we did that is to consider that every one of those delegates is actually our delegate of the APC and a member of the APC family. I'd like to thank the uh, security agencies for the wonderful job that they have done to make sure that they provided a secure environment, you know, so everybody was part and parcel of that. I'd like to also thank the media, you know, for all the things that they have done, you know, to make sure that they cover the entire exercise so that people were able to see how transparent the election was. But I would like to thank them for the matured maturity that every one of the aspirants had shown during the exercise. There was none that has actually got up to cause any commotion in view of the fact that the whole exercise was so transparent. Also, there was none that did not come to participate where we shared brotherhood, you know, once we were in the cubicle, where we sat down as friends, exchanged ideas, exchanged uh, a lot of laughter, and the rest of that. So for that uh, sportsmanship that every one of them had done, I would like to thank them sincerely. Then to use the opportunity to call on them that after the exercise, we decided that we are going to work together as a team. Let us not abandon that spirit. Because I know once we, re once we return to our various uh, locations, you know, some of our own, uh, uh, supporters might not think the way the aspirants actually thought. So they might bring some ideas of what to do next. But you see, the APC family is more important than any one of us. Therefore, whoever emerged as this uh, candidate, the ideal thing is to ensure that APC remains the ruling party in the state so that we will continue to do the wonderful job that this current governor, government of al you know, that started a new architecture, a new design for Nasrawa State, a new picture for Nasrawa State, so we can continue from there, so we can create more opportunities for the people of Nasrawa State. We can create more opportunities for the civil servants, for the youth, for the women, and for all, all the other people so that we can create opportunities. We can also look at the ways of generating revenue for the state by bringing investments into the state, by utilizing the minerals that we have in the state. All these are possibilities that we can do only if we work together as a team. So it is very necessary that we do that. And then once we are able to do that, there is enough for everybody in government. There will be a role for whoever amongst us because none of us will have taken this state to disaster. Every one of us was looking forward to doing whatever is possible to sustain the development in the state. And that's the same spirit that we should bring in. So everybody should come and contribute so that we can take this state to the next level. What I think so far, what the people have seen is first to look at the party itself. We had other political parties that produce governors in Nasrallah state. And we had the CPC and APC that actually produce governors in this state. Have they seen the difference between what the two governments had done? 
by far it's like day and night you will see the amount of work that actually APC government has done in the state I'm not saying that all the work APC has done is perfect no there are so many areas for improvement and those are the areas of improvement that we are bringing in on along with the current government and the new government that is coming in so that we can take this step from the level where it is where it is at the moment to the next level you know we must create opportunities for the state I think the, the electorate have seen clearly the experience that is there, the, the willingness, the wisdom to be able to bring the entire people of Nasrawa State together, where you don't start uh, differentiating and say this belongs to this group, this belongs to this uh, religion, this belongs to this association, this belongs to this, you know, so I think it's not necessary. My idea is to see that we bring all the people together, to fusion together, so that we can have an opportunity, you know, to take this step from this level to the next level. So many states in the Federation are witnessing that. If you take Lagos, for instance, in Lagos, people don't care where you come from as long as you can contribute to the development of the state. You know, but the people who will continue to be the governors of Lagos, for instance, are probably a particular uh, uh, set of people. If you look at all the people who even rule Lagos, you will see that some of them are from Osho, some of them from Ogun, some of them from that, because it's not important to them. As long as the person qualifies by the law of Nigeria, to be a leader in Lagos, he will be a leader in Lagos. And then from there, he, he takes the next level. Look at the people who are members of Hassan Assembly, people who are chairman, chairman of local government. One of the most sophisticated local government areas in Lagos is actually headed by somebody from Nasarawa State. Some of the legislators representing, uh, some of the councillors representing some of the wards in Lagos are people from Nasarawa State. You know, and they are not even people who were born there. They are people who just move and relocate to Lagos to go and live. So those are the kind of things that we are seeing, and that is exactly what made America great. That's why America today is called Apoloburus Uno. You know, it's one out of many, and that's why the, New York is called the Big Apple because in New York, whoever is there is welcome, as long as that person will bring development to New York. For me, that's the dream I have for Nasrawa State. You know, we need people to come in to develop our minerals, to create opportunities for people of Nasrawa State, to, to generate revenue for people of Nasrawa State, so that we will continue to develop and do whatever it is, you know, for the progress of Nasrawa State.